run it party, man. Run the garage, man. As you come off a flat bridge, man. Run off. The amount of shots we fire, and a 10 shot, and a 15 shot, and a 20 shot. People see a police dressed in a police suit. You know the blue suit. Welcome. If you're new via here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today, Police Constable Kemar executed by gunmen in Alman Town, major accident on Flatbridge, plus guns and ammunition seized. The Black River Police seized a Smith & Wesson m and 15-22 rifle during an operation in Black River, St. Elizabeth on Thursday. It is reported that about 6 p.m. cops were on duty when an abandoned building was searched and the weapon found. No one was arrested in connection with the seizure. Investigation continue. Viewers and subscribers, right now, I'm going to update on the gun attack that took place in Enfield, St. Mary on Wednesday. As we know, three lives were claimed and three others were injured. So in all, six persons get shot. So as we all hear by now, everybody that say this is gang related because two of the men is from Stonehill and they were wanted. Now people, the residents of St. Mary are completely denying that claim. They are saying that the men who come and do the act, them dressed up in a uniform just like the police. So basically, the people, they must say, the police are responsible for whatever took place. More on to watch and listen keenly and then we'll talk more in details. Residents showed us the books he used to log his police station visits as a condition of his bail. Still afraid after the attack, some person spoke with our news team off camera. Mass up with the big mass over them face, them black mass there, and say, We don't always scat there, and by him say, We don't always scat there, and just start shooting up everybody. everybody one person, one person run go either. The, old, the woman run go either, when the woman run go either, then run go and they go give her two shots. The amount of shots we fire, and a 10 shot, and a 15 shot, and a 20 shot. I'll pick the there at the yard. I miss the pitney, miss it by an inch. People see a police dressed in a police suit, you know, the blue suit. Denim. Yeah, the denim suit there, yes. Bad boy, special squad. And then and the, the vehicle will come and do the act, turn around the license plate. So you can't see it, you cannot see the license plate, or just the silver part of the plate you see. We were informed that Westcourt Jr. was out on bail for murder and was also being sought by the police for a triple murder in Stony Hill earlier this year. No longer can the persons who are harboring gangsters, who are protecting them, do so without putting themselves at great risk. Anthony Log, TBJ News. Now the first thing I want to talk about is that they stated that Donald Westcott, who was the main target of the attack, was on a murder bail. And him offered a report to the St. Mary Police Station every single day the book where i'm logged in police visits was shown in the video so you can see say and a lie them a tell however the police later stated that he is wanted for a triple murder that took place in stone hill over three weeks ago now me can't understand how somebody were wanted in a saint andrew a report to the police in a saint mary and in addition to that, he is walking freely in St. Mary. Oh, that much the add up. Honestly, that now make much sense to me. So basically, what they must say, them can't wall on him until him come back in a St. Andrew. And most that, because there's no way on this earth a wanted man is reporting to a police station every single day and the police them fail for wall on him. Is he that one out of two things? Is he that the police them not have no sense or them not do them work? Now the residents them are claims that the police is responsible for this attack but them can't give a solid reason as to why the police would have them as a target. But as stated earlier, words in the street is that two of the men is from Stony Hill area. They were on bail for a murder charge. In addition to that, the police claim for say they are linked to a triple murder that took place in Stony Hill. And also, words in the street is that they are involved in some form of scamming. But the residents of Enfield community skip past the wall of that and go straight to the facts that the police them do it because the men are in uniform looking like the police. 
And nobody could have catch the license plate because the man them turned the license plate back and front. So basically you're not seeing a number or anything. People, one of the things really took place here. If you did not get the chance to see the pictures or the videos of this incident, they are still available in our Telegram group. So just go down in the description of this video where you'll see a link to the Chopper City Telegram group. You just click on the link, you automatically join the group and the videos and pictures are there waiting on you if you don't know how for that and you're interested in seeing them just run on over to our instagram page at chopper city tv that is c-h-o-p c-i-t-u-r underscore tv send us a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible a police officer was today shot and killed on Emily Lane in Almontown, Kingston. He has been identified as District Constable Kemar Armstrong, who was assigned to the Bands Division of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Constable Armstrong was reportedly at home when he was attacked by gunmen. He later succumbed to his injuries at the Kingston Public Hospital. This is the second police officer killed today. Earlier, Detective Constable Paul Garden, who was assigned to the Lindsay Police Station in St. Catherine, was killed during an unprovoked attack by a man believed to be of unsound mind. The cop who was not in uniform was attacked and hit on the head while standing on the sidewalk near Lindsay Transport Center. Two police, one day, this not look good. It seems as if it is a bad day for the police then. An accident was reported on Flatbridge last night. No deaths were reported, but serious injuries. On your party, man. On the guards, man. As I come off of Flatbridge, I'm running off. Oh, God. Van there. So that van not over there? Yeah, I'm on the van. I'm on the van. I'm on the van. I'm on the van. I'm on Look, so I'm not seeing the marks in the body. Oh. A major accident was reported earlier this evening on Wyas Falls Road in St. Elizabeth. Two deaths were reported. The two deceased has only been identified as Shemar and Wagi. We don't know when we are going to take aid and understand so we need to take time to drive on the road. If you can't take time to drive for yourself, take time to drive for somebody else. Because you know, most are hurt yourself. You can hurt somebody else in the process. A full time for we start learning off of each other mistake and stop one like say everything we want to go through ourselves. Viewers and subscribers, we have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. Remember for leave an opinion down in the comment section. I'm out.